Hi, this is Dr. George Pereira. Welcome to English for Specific Purposes course offered by IHS OUN. So today we are going to talk about topic 9, the role of materials. The learning materials the teacher has to select, but then the teacher may have difficulty in getting materials to suit your purpose. So you may have to write your own the materials. And then the buying of the materials could be very costly. However, there is also a vast amount of materials and videos and so forth available on the internet. So searching for particular things that you need will help you uh, with the access of internet. So, especially for your assignment, that is uh, uh, the course you are going to design, before that the needs analysis, materials could be uh, accessed on the internet if you use the right words and search for information, for example, on Google. So the role of the materials, there are several roles. We use materials to encourage the learners. Uh, materials should be attractive and make learning fun and enjoyable. Fun fact is often a push factor. The materials should be practicable for use. So it should uh, help the learning and teaching process. Then the materials uh, written will show the writer's beliefs about how language is to be learned. So all the theories of teaching grammar and then the five skills in English language, then the learner-centered approach and use of educational technology and all that can be incorporated in selection of the materials. So the material, there should be clear indication of what language tasks the materials reflect. So the language is complex so, and challenging, but it has to be manageable. The students should be motivated to use them. So materials will stimulate their learning. The teacher is challenged to try new ways to teach and to improve themselves. So finally, materials are written to show accuracy in language use. So especially for uh, English for business purposes, the accuracy of the language and even for academic purposes. So the materials will help with that. Also should keep in mind the objectives of the course, the lessons and the program design all should be uh, considered when selecting the materials. So the materials also can be teacher generated as well as student generated. For example, in adult uh, professional English class or business English class. <laughs> Students can bring their own uh, uh, materials used at the workplace and discussed or presented in the class in, as in the form of a PowerPoint presentation. So it could be teacher generated as well as student generated. As you discussed earlier, when uh, uh, the subject specialist, the language teacher and the teacher the, the learner in these three components are together so it's very is, uh, useful to select the materials. Teachers need to decide on the career content and real content and then match them to the course. So the tasks and skills should be varied to stimulate the students. So for students who could help in generating the materials, preset frameworks would be useful. There is a kind of a frame within the framework, the student will collect the materials. 
So that is to put the language into the context. The internet is currently a large source for all kinds of materials as I mentioned. So the call is the computer assisted language learning materials can be obtained and also you can search uh, uh, for this term call that is compute assisted language learning and how that can be used. A computer laboratory, laboratory or at least a computer and a LCD a projector could be teaching aids in selection of the materials. So for your uh, course design for news editors as your assignment, you can use some of these uh, ideas for the selection of the materials. So this is a model for writing or producing the materials presented. Design element is the input. So uh, input is decided usually based on the syllabus. They may be the language items, activities, topics, situations for language use and other stimulus for language performance. For example, situations could be telephone conversation. You provide the ideas for the telephone conversation. They write the conversation. As a role play, they present the uh, information. So they are actively engaged in the activity. <clears throat> so, uh, for example, texts, dialogues, graphs, charts, pictures, tapes can be used also as the input materials. Then the content focus. Non-linguistic content that can help to stimulate. For example, ESP course on English for tourists. The teacher could ask students to prepare a list of prices for airline tickets to several destinations to start a discussion. So it's uh, activity based. Uh, the course content is actually uh, the list of prices for airline tickets. For several destinations for uh, students involved in tourism. The language focus is uh, to examine language use and understand the underlying structures involved. Uh, that is, uh, you allow the students to generate the language. Uh, in meaningful situations for practice so that language is learned in context. For example, uh, you ask the students uh, to prepare a telephone conversation <coughs> as the secretary of an organization. You call several people, so you prepare the conversation and the other person so will uh, play the role of the receiver and the student is the sender and then also followed up by uh, email and then also uh, agenda that is sent to prepare the, let us say, the directors and other managers of a company and the student is the secretary uh, for a meeting. Uh, for example, discuss certain things in the company. So you can also, based on the context of the student, get the student to prepare the materials. Then the task oriented. So all three elements above, that is uh, input, content, language focus, will lead to the task. The task focuses on communicative events. As I mentioned earlier, the telephone conversation by the secretary to organize a meeting, followed up by an, followed by an email, and then the email also has the attachment of the agenda prepared by the student. So that is for business English. Okay, so the materials evaluation is another aspect. The materials selected should be evaluated. And the teacher can modify the existing materials. So the materials should be suitable for the purpose. So uh, evaluation of the materials is very essential and how to evaluate the materials. There are three stages in evaluating the materials. 
first is to define the criteria of evaluation measure standard the measurement of the evaluation against what the materials are evaluated for example business uh, uh, english students from let us say working in a laboratory and uh, what do they need to know that is the measurement standard and whether the material suit that objective that standard the next stage consists of analysis of the uh, criteria which is both subjectively and objectively to be carried out uh, objectively whether that will be suitable for each student in their context otherwise based on their context we have to diversify the uh, diverse materials should be selected so the whether the materials match the students needs should be asked so in this uh, the details for each step of the analysis process are spelled out according to the audience the learner the aims or the objectives the content and the what methodology you are going to follow let us say if it is a hybrid close course they come to the class and they study online then how you are going to design the materials so that is the material selection so it would require you to go back and forth as you consider and reconsider the elements and details that pertain to your effort in material design so that the students will learn the language efficiently so students needs should be identified and clearly focused in the material selection so these are some study questions <clears throat> So there is a letter attached, I think, in the booklet. So map out the purposes according to the design element that could help in producing relevant materials related to the use of the letter. So based on the input, content, language and task. Then the second one, analyze the letter attached by dividing it to three parts. Introduction, the body and the conclusion. So these are the functions of the body, the uh, introduction, the body and the conclusion. Then underline all the verbs in the sample letter given to you. So this is given here. And fill in the blanks for this letter. Dear Mr. Lee, so try this in your booklet and the answers are also given below. So this is about letter writing for business. So that how you can design the course for that. Then this is another task, task 5, write a letter of inquiry for a product that you have identified in the stationer's shop. Then look, uh, then you have to use the follow the format used for reading the content of the letter. Look for a unit from an ESP English textbook or from the internet. Use the questions below to carry out an objective analysis of the content of the unit. So if you find a book in that the title, the author, the publisher, units examined, then answer these questions. What are the language points covered in the unit? For example, grammar and then the sentence structures. So what is the proportion of work on each language skill? Uh, it could be they practice the conversation, let's say telephone conversation or directions given to a company, that kind of a theme. So how are you going to answer that? What kinds of texts are found in the materials? Then how is the content organized? So you have to answer by finding a book from the internet. So suggest, suggested uh, answers are given here. So you can go through that and compare what you have produced. So this is the content. Or oh, this is the letter given uh, earlier. So can go through that.
सो थैंक यू फॉर लिजनिंग एंड होप यू गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट मेटीरियल सेलेक्शन एंड दिस विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर असाइनमेंट बट योर असाइनमेंट फोकस इज ऑन न्यूज एडिटिंग सो दैट हैज अ डिफरेंट फोकस दैट्स द वट यू कॉल द स्पेसिफिक नीड ऑफ बिजनेस स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स अ टारगेटेड So thank you very much this is Dr George Pereira for I